This is the 12th Elite Code Challenge and it is called Integer to Roman. Roman numerals are represented by seven different symbols I, V, X, L, C, D, and M. I is 1, V is 5, X is 10, L is 50, C is 100, D is 500, and M is 1000. 2 is written as II in Roman numerals, just two ones added together, and 12 is written as XII, which is simply X plus II. The number 27 is written as XXVII, which is XX20 plus V5 plus II2. Roman numerals are usually written largest to smallest from left to right. However, the numeral for 4 is not IIII. Instead, the number 4 is written as IV. Because the 1 is before the 5, we subtract it making a 4. The same principle applies to the number 9, which is IX. There are 6 instances where subtraction is used. I can be placed before V and X to make 4 and 9. X can be placed before L and C to make 40 and 90, and C can be placed before D and M to make 400 and 900. So given an integer, convert it to a Roman numeral. So if you were given the number 3, it would return III, 58 LVIII, and 1994 would be, would be MCMXCIV. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the placeholder code here and put it into the Visual Studio project. Okay, I've now got the code set up, so let's get started. So what we're wanting to do is have the number go through each of the digits within that number and then convert it to the Roman numeral equivalent. So I think the easiest thing to do will be string number equals num dot to string. Actually, before we do that, let's start off with the actual Roman numeral characters. So so var characters equals... Uh, this will be a new list of string. Actually, this will be a list of list of strings. So then inside here, so this will be the ones place, and we can have i x. Oh, sorry, i v or x. Then down here, it will be x. No, no we don't need to do it like this. We can just simply have a list of strings. Let's change this. So just a list of strings. So I, V, X, L, C, C, I think it's D, then M, let's go back and look, I, V, X, L, C, D, M, yeah, that's correct, and then we're going to iterate over the characters in the number, so we'll do string number equals nums to string, then we'll do for int I equals, actually we'll first get length equals string num length and what we'll do is for int i equals length i is greater equal to zero i minus minus the do current num equals and then we'll do convert to int 32 so we're going in reverse order right to left first number on the right will be will be either we using either I, V, or X. Then when we go to the next one, will either be X, L, C. And then the next one, C, D, M. And then finally, might be just M. Actually, let's... Okay, yep, so constraints. The maximum number could be is 39999. So that would be... Well, M, 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 C, M, X, C, I, X, I think. So, yep, going right to left, and it'll be one of these. So I guess something else we'll do is just create the variable for the output put that down there so we've got the current number we'll do if current number is less than four we'll do that else if current number less than five i guess we'll just do equals four there'll be that else if current number less than nine else and what else do we need so we have okay we can also do an offset number Int offset equals zero. So if you're on the first digit, if we get zero, it will be i one v two x. We can then do offset of two, let's say. So then the next zero for the well, for the next digit, it will be x l c. Then it'll be c d m, and then just m. So I think this is how we'll do it. So then at the very bottom here, offset plus equals two. So we've got Roman output. This will equal. So we what are we doing? So we're Wanting to add, as we're going right to left, this will be in front. So for this one, will be uh, current number, current number times 
Roman offset plot. Oh, that will just be offset. Okay, I'm just going to quickly look up how to uh, multiply string. I guess. Yeah, we'll just search that up. Okay, we'll do that. This will be new string Roman offset current num. Then this will be. Uh, what's wrong here? Oh, that's only for characters. Okay. Uh, we'll grab this one then. So, the Roman character multiplied by the current num here. Then this will be plus the current number. No, not plus the current number. This will be plus Roman output. Okay, so that's if it's 1, 2, or 3. If it's Roman, uh, if it's 4, this will equal Roman offset plus Roman offset plus 1 plus Roman output. If it's less than 9, it will be Roman offset plus 1. Then we'll do this again. For current num minus 5, we'll have to see what happens if the number is 5 because we don't want it to produce any eyes at all. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. And then down here, it will be, if it's 9, so it'll be plus 1, plus 2. I think that might be all that we need to do, so let's run it and see how it goes. Okay, well, I did a mistake here. I did i equals length instead of i equals length minus 1, so we'll change that and rerun it. Okay, well, we apparently got index out of range, so what I might do, stop this, and let's break point through it. So what we want... Okay, so the number is 3, so we expect it to go here, go here. Apparently it's not less than 3. What is current num set? It's 51. Ah, okay. No, this make the mistake. It went... num... We need to do dot to string for the... Because it was getting the character, then converting it into the number representation of character, instead of the actual number itself. So, I expect that to work now. Let's try again. So, var current num is... Okay, now it's 3. So I'm just going to continue it and expect it to work. Okay, let's, we'll just rerun it. Okay, so we can see here, we got the expected outputs. No, we made a mistake here. Okay, I did uh, 9 wrong. 9 is meant to be 0 like that. Let's rerun it. There we go, that's better. Okay, so now let's grab all this code. We will chuck it into leak code and let's see how we went. Okay, so we got it correct. So that is the 12th challenge for LeetCode, which is turning integers to Roman numerals. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.